Drew, gentlemen, for coming at uh, such last uh, notice, last minute notice to our, our program. Uh, can you w walk us through this, please? <laughs> Well, first, I'll say one thing. As a surgeon, I've learned in my career, if you tell people the truth, that's going to hurt a little bit. Yes. They get prepared, and everyone does fine. So there's a lot of good news out there, but some of the information that we're getting is a little scary. So I'll give you both sides. Okay. And then I think people can act. But the big message here is we can do this. We've mobilized as a nation before. We can, without any question, buy ourselves the time we need for the public health system to get better, for ERs to catch up, to get enough ventilators, for the government to figure out what they're going to do. But only if the people can hear my voice right now act, are we going to buy ourselves the time? Because this pandemic is spreading so rapidly that a lot of our leaders are of the belief that we're going to have most of the population of this country infected within a year. Mm. Now, that's a problem. But it's also a problem because we don't have the resources to take care of half the people in the country. So by slowing down transmission, we completely change what the future could be. So we have to slow down the transmission. That, that's our goal right now. What, what is coronavirus? So there was a bat virus, we believe, that got married to a virus that's more comfortable in humans. And those two viruses had kids, and they sort of pieced it together. And one of those kids had the ability to infect us in ways we never imagined possible. It probably happened around that wet market in Wuhan that everyone talks about. Mm -hmm. But now this new virus is something we've never seen before. So no one actually recognizes it. Our immune system can't fight it off. Right. So we don't have any firewalls to protect us. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to affect young people at all. And most of your viewership, the folks under the age of 60 are going to do just great with this thing. There hasn't been a death at a kid under the age of 10. Okay. It's all fantastic. It doesn't seem to hurt pregnant women quite as badly. So that's all good news. The bad news is that folks are older. Once you get past 60, if you have other illnesses, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, lung problems. So if you smoke, if you're smoking or vaping, please stop. This is a good excuse. How, how can people not panic about this? Well, the, the, you don't panic for, by two reasons. One, you help other people. Okay. which always works. Mm -hmm. Do folks a, a, a favor, and it takes a little bit of the pressure off you. But if you actually know the facts, what you fear the most is what you don't understand. You know, I did see that I, I, I really enjoyed. I follow you on Instagram, uh, Dr. Underscore Oz. You put up this, uh, what's called a survival protocol. Check this out. Uh, this is really interesting. Uh, if, you, if you want to, uh, go to his Instagram, Dr. Oz's Instagram, or where else do you have this? On it's your website? It's uh, we got stuff on YouTube. But let me just explain something real quick. Yeah. I, I wanted people to have action steps. If there are things you can do, mm -hmm. you won't be perseverating in your mind, mm -hmm. ruminating about what's going on. So there are lifestyle things you got to do, like sleep and exercise. There, there are things you got to do in terms of hygiene. Like when you wash your hands, most people don't wash their hands right. Show me how you wash your hands. That's terrible. <laughs> right, like that. Uh, like this. No, I'm going to show you how a surgeon washes their hands. Cool. Because what, what you, you're washing the back of your wrists, right? Yep. You know, that's not important. It's your fingers that touch your face. Ah. So after you get this open your hands, you do the Turkish twist. You go like this, rub the fingers in there, okay. right? Yep. And then you got to do the Tony Tum, right? Rub the fingers, <laughs> the thumbs, opposing digits. Yep. Seriously, we learned this in medical school. I know. I just don't want to end up a meme. <laughs> okay. And then... <laughs> And then grease the palm, uh -huh. grease the palm, yeah. right, both sides. That's 20 <laughs> seconds. Wash your hands, use the paper towel to turn off the sink and then get the door open and exit. Really? But if you do that, that one issue by itself halves the chance you get in the coronavirus, we believe. Just washing your hands. Just washing your hands, yeah. that's it. Because I, I just, I, I, good. this is good to know. This is good stuff to know. And exercise? Exercise counts. You got to eat the right foods. And you do have to stock up, because here's what's going to happen. Let me, let me paint the picture for you here. Mm -hmm. So everyone's traveling around. They've been in public events over the last couple of days. So they may have already gotten the coronavirus. So if you start to feel a high fever uh, or, or a lot of lethargy, tiredness with that, okay. if you have a dry cough or some people get diarrhea, then there's a reasonable chance you've got coronavirus. So please don't go rushing off to the emergency room. You'll completely overwhelm the system. Just call, call your doc if you're worried. Stay home. Stay home, though. Just socially separate yourself from everybody else. Social distancing is the entire solution here. If we can just accomplish that one goal, then we'll be over the top on this baby because then we'll be able to slow down the, the progression of this. And I'm so optimistic about the treatments we're figuring out, the, 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 the work around the immunizations is progressing nicely. It's all good news there, but you got to buy us time. People okay. watching right now can do that. No one else can do it for you. Thank you so much for coming on. You're a gentleman. Thank you. Jimmy. Dr. Oz, everybody. Uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.